Good morning. It's uh, November 16th, 2023, and I just wanted to cover a uh, sh uh, NQ short that we just uh, spotted at 6.57 a.m. this morning. Uh, but before we do, we have to keep in mind that uh, all information in this video is provided for educational purposes only and is not an offer or a recommendation to trade futures, stocks, options, or Forex. So let's take a look at uh, this trade. Let me bring my chart over. This is a live chart. And let me go ahead and stretch it out here. Everything was in place. Uh, if you've seen my most recent uh, videos where I've introduced my strategy of tape reading, you see that everything is in place, including the three-day moving average. That's the bold red. The one-day moving average, which is the dashed bold dashed line here. They're both sloping down in red. We have our uh, daily VWAP, our Ninjicator's daily VWAP. The magenta line is sloping down. And our three EMAs, the 15, 30, and 60, our trend dots are sloping down. Uh, we had good, strong volume. As a matter of fact, if I take it over to the hard right edge, as I like to call it, right over there, uh, maybe I should first identify the entry, which was right as price came right up to the trend dot right there. And uh, why did I get in there? Because I had both my verticals, my secondary thin red line, which is the 15 crossing below the 30, and the thick red line, which is the 30 crossing below the 6. Then I look for, I'm sorry, the 30 crossing below the 60. And then I look for a pullback, ideally to the trend dots, which we got just like spades right there, um, along with this... Uh, volume let's just see how that volume looked if i take it over to the hard right edge when that happened okay there's where it one more right there there's where it hit that uh trend dot and you can see i hopefully you can see uh behind my picture here i don't can i move that here we go uh you can see that at that point volume had broken above the 10 period moving average of the volume itself so that was uh, all a confirmation for a short and how did it do? Well, it did quite well. Let me move this bald-headed guy over here again, right? Right there. Um, came down. Uh, it actually gave you a 7 to 1 uh, risk. If uh, And I'm using a $100 risk on this, uh, uh, this account, which is what we used in a prior video example, using a $5,000 account trading a 2% risk which is kind of an interest uh, in industry average. So you can see that once again, this thing uh, proved its worth. Uh, when everything, if you can be patient, sit on your hands, because we're paid to wait in this business of trading. So uh, hopefully that's a help to you. And uh, thanks for watching. And sign up below for the Ninjicator's free Indicator of the Month Club. You'll enjoy hundreds of savings in indicators. Take care and profitable trading.